Hi, I'm Sarah Cook. I'm a recipe writer and a food stylist, and I'm here today to tell you that baking bread is really simple. In fact, it's one of the simplest things you can do in the kitchen. Now, Allenson have come up with three easy to learn recipes combining simple techniques and some really high quality ingredients so that you can rise up to the challenge and have freshly baked bread every day. We've also come up with some great flavour and shaping twists. So once you've mastered these three really simple recipes, the possibilities are absolutely endless. I'm going to show you how to make an olive oil dough. Now, it's a bit wetter than your standard white dough, which means that it's super stretchy, so it's great for pizza bases and breadsticks. And it also bakes into a bread with a much more open texture, so great for things like focaccia. Now to start, I've got 500 grams of Allenson strong white bread flour, and I'm going to add some yeast. Now they make them in these handy sachets, so there's no measuring needed. Straight in with that. I'm going to add some salt. There's two teaspoons of salt in this dough. It's a little bit more than in a white dough because you need to also help flavour the olive oil that's going in. And some caster sugar, just one teaspoon of that. Then in with our liquid, I've got 300 ml of hand warm water. So the best way to check is literally just popping in your finger. And this is going to help get the dough going and start the yeast rising. And then I'm going to add 50 ml of olive oil. Here we go. Mix all together with a wooden spoon to start. And then as the dough comes together, you'll need to get your hands in. There we go. Don't waste anything. And then bring this together into one mass up all those dusty bits at the bottom. There we go, and now we're ready to start kneading. Now I'm not putting any extra flour on my surface. This is a sticky dough, but start with nothing at first, and if you find it's too wet, just add a little bit. But remember that every bit of flour you put on your surface is going to end up in your dough, and you want to end up with a really nice moist bread, so the wetter the better. Now. I'm going to start with a pushing motion, so basically you're just trying to stretch the dough as much as you can to get the gluten starting to work. So I'm just pushing away with the heel of my hand, then bringing back to the middle. So push away and bring back. Now you'll need to do this for about 10 minutes. And you'll find that as the gluten develops, you'll get this lovely, silky, soft, stretchy dough. Now, as you go and it gets less sticky, you should be able to use two hands, but as long as you're keeping it moving all the time, any technique is a good technique. Just keep stretching it. Right, I think we're just about there. So my dough is lovely and silky and smooth can see it's super stretchy as well, so it's ready to rise. Now, I've cleaned my bowl, and I'm just gonna grease it with a little bit more olive oil, just so the dough doesn't stick, so it can rise nicely and evenly. So just all around the bowl with the oil, and then I'm just gonna shape this into a nice ball and pop it in. There we go. And I'm going to cover it with a damp tea towel to stop it drying out, but you could just use a bit of cling film, again, grease with a little bit of olive oil. And that's it. Now it's good to rise, just at room temperature. You don't need to put it anywhere really warm, like an airing cupboard or anything like that. And just wait until it's doubled in size and then it's ready to go. And here it is. Look how full of air that is. It really is that simple. And now this is ready to be shaped and baked. So remember to go to bakingmad.com, check out the Allenson pages, and you'll find loads of amazing, tasty recipes and inspiration with what you can make with this dough. And that's it. There's no excuse not to rise up and get baking.